Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd ahabatu fillah from the important things is learning more about our religion and so I want to encourage myself and my brothers and sisters especially those young brothers and sisters that have the desires to not let anything stop you go forward atlab al-ilm go seek knowledge because this is a way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raises his servants this is a way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala helps his servants come closer to him this is a way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala distinguishes the people of knowledge from the people who don't know and this is a fadl and this is khair azim listen just a couple of ayat that i hope that will be a way of moving and inclining your heart to take the take the step go forward atlab al ilm allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al kareem shahid allah annahu la ilaha illa huwa wal malaikatu wa ul al ilm qaim al bil qist allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al kareem shahid allah annahu la ilaha illa allah allah bears witness that he alone is the only one wor- worthy of worship and the malaika the malaika also witness wa ul al ilm and the, those who possess ilm qaim al bil qist and they are just they are establishing justice letting us know that ahla ilm are the people of justice they're the people of adl they're the people of knowledge and they bear witness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's wahdaniyyah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the lord of everything and he's the only one worthy of worship subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in kitab al-kareem wa qul rabbi zidni ilman as one of the dua that in surah uh, in ali imran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says say Rabbi zidni ilman. This is a dua that we are ordered to say that we should say, "Our Lord, increase us in knowledge." So it lets us know the fadl of knowledge. Go forward, atlab al ilm. Allah subhanahu wa taala says, "Fi kitab al kareem, Inna ma yaksha Allah min ibadhi al ulama. Verily, those who fear Allah." the most are the ulama they're the people of knowledge because knowledge lets you know what is halal and haram knowledge gives you fiqh and understanding in the religion knowledge gives you the path the siratul lahi mustaqim it gives you the siratul mustaqim how do you know what the siratul lahi mustaqim is how do we even know we only know it through ilm we only through know it through beneficial knowledge as the scholars of islam have said throughout history al ilm nafi' beneficial knowledge and the classical scholars used to say one of the famous statements they used to say talib al ilm talib al janna seeking knowledge is seeking paradise The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Man sallaka tariqan yaltalmasuhu bihi ilman sahallahu lahu tariqan ila jannah." Whoever traverses the path of knowledge, Allah will make easy for him the path to paradise. This is why the Salaf you say, "Talib al-ilm, talib al-jannah." Seeking knowledge is seeking paradise. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Man yaradallahu bihi khayran yafqahu fi din." Whenever Allah wants good for a person, what does he do? He gives him fiqh fi din. He gives him understanding of the din. That is a sign that Allah loves you. So that is what raises you. The people of jahil and the people of knowledge are not the same. They will never be the same, especially if you gain knowledge and you practice. So that's another aspect of, that you have to have a sincere intention that you're going to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What is Allah subhanahu wa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions three people who will enter in the paradise first. Uh, enter into the hellfire first as a punishment for not being sincere in the greatest deeds they could do in Islam. What is the first one? The first one is one who was martyred in the cause of Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. And he will be brought before Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala and asked, "What did you do for my sake?" He said, "Qataltu fika hatta stushida." Qala kadhab, "Walakinnaka fa'alta li qal huwa jari." فَقَدْ كِيلَ ثُمَّ أُمِرَ بِهِ فَصَوَّبَ الْوَجِيهِ حَتَّى لُكِفَ النَّارِ This first guy is going to be brought before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah will ask him, what did you do for my sake? And he'll say, I, I was martyred for your sake. And then Allah will say, you lied. But rather you did it so that the people will say you were brave. And guess what? They did. فَقَدْ كِيلَ And then Allah will command him to be thrown in the fire. Why? Because he wasn't sincere for doing one of the highest deeds he could do. And the second one and this is the shahid this is the point of mentioning this hadith and where it's relevant for us 
is وَرَجِلٌ تَعْلَمَ الْعِلْمُ عَلَّمَهُ And a man who learned knowledge, mean learned beneficial Islamic knowledge, and he taught it. And he read the Qur'an, recited the Qur'an, memorized the Qur'an, and he taught it. And then he will be brought before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, فَمَعُمْ مَلْتَفِيهَا What did you do? What did you do for me? And he'll say, I learned knowledge and I taught it. And I recited the Qur'an, you know, memorized the Qur'an and I taught it. And then Allah will say, you lie, but rather you did it so that the people will say you were a beautiful reciter. And you did it so that the people will say you were an alim, you know, a, a person of knowledge. And then he'll be dragged in the fire because he lied. He, was, he wasn't sincere. He did it to show off in front of the people. So this is, a, this is a beat down of our hearts to purify our hearts, to make sure you're seeking knowledge for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I just want to encourage my brothers and sisters, those who are on the fence, who are thinking, I don't know, I should, should I make the sacrifice now? I have this opportunity, I have this opportunity. Spend your money and go for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you have this opportunity, Get in the Arabic language, step one. Step number two, seeking some knowledge. This is, you will not ever find um, uh, um, that you lost by doing this. You'll only see success, no matter, especially if you're vigilant and keeping on that path. And so I want to encourage all my brothers and sisters, and this means sisters too, because there's nothing like a good talib al ilm as a good, uh, you know, when brothers marry and, and so on and so forth, a good sister who knows her deen, who can help you, or a sister who can help and teach a community, this is Aveen, this is beautiful, and this is what we need, especially, we need this in the East and the West, you need it here in Saudi Arabia, so what about us in America, what about us in, in, in Europe, you need it. So this is imperative, a habit of Allah, to atlab al-ilm. And I also want to encourage my Habib, and I won't mention his name, but this may be an opportunity for you and your family to go and atlab al-ilm. And I want you to take this opportunity, bro, and go for it. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala Muhammad.